Hi everybody, George Donnelly here. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that I am really excited about. It's called Steam, the blockchain-based social media platform where anyone can earn rewards. This video is an introduction to Steam for non-technical users who want to get involved, who want to know how to use the platform, who want to know why it matters to them. What benefit are you going to get out of it? Okay, I'm not going to go into super technical details, but I am going to give you a very detailed rundown of everything that you need to know in order to get started with Steam. So the most important thing is that you get paid to cre create content. When you post to social media, such as Facebook, Reddit, Google Plus, and Twitter, when you upvote, like, and favorite, you do not get paid. But that's about to change. Steemit is a blogging-centric social network where you do get paid for creating and upvoting content. You can build a following, find patrons, and grow your wealth, all while doing the thing you love, creating valuable content. Okay, take note. Steemit is not some fly-by-night Ponzi scheme. Steemit is about building a community of high quality people and financing the production of the highest quality content. Steemit requires no initial investment in order to participate. It's free to use and you're not spending your own money when you upvote content you like. Steemit is just the first minimum viable product on Steam the blockchain-based social economy. The Steam developers have bootstrapped an entire economy complete with its own cryptocurrencies. Steam is peer-to-peer, -peer, decentralized, uncensorable, and therefore unstoppable. So it's a good idea for you to get started with Steemit and Steam now. Who's Steemit good for? It's good for Redditors, Facebook users, bloggers, videographers, teachers, YouTubers, artists, filmmakers, anyone who is creating content and would like to be paid more for it. The Steemit community is supportive, helpful, and constructive. Do you want to work with intelligent, positive people who are building something meaningful for the future? If you answered yes, then Steemit is for you. If you're seeking a short-term payoff with low-quality content that you slap together with little effort, then Steemit is not for you. You will be downvoted, ignored, and frustrated. Your reputation will not grow and will likely decline. You will not earn any significant amount of money. You'll just be wasting your time. However, you can earn a short-term payoff with quality content. Many people have already done this. Steemit offers greater rewards, however, to those who approach it with a long-term perspective. There are also opportunities for developers to build apps rapidly on the Steam blockchain. By the end of this post, you will know enough about Steemit to get started earning cryptocurrency. Currency that, like Bitcoin, you can convert into US dollars and other fiat currency and spend on groceries, rent, travel, and more. So now the Steam system has a lot of moving parts. So keep reading and you'll get a head start. It's taken me several weeks to research this, to get familiar with the community, and to put it all into this easy to consume guide that you can master in less than an hour. Okay, so Steam it, it's interesting, it's technology, blah, blah, blah. We're full of technology in the world today. Why is Steam it important? And most importantly, what can it do for me? Great question. Steemit is like Reddit or Medium, but you can earn equity and cash and hold debt, thus earning interest, through your interactions with the system. Steemit enables you to earn cryptocurrency by creating content, curating it, mining, trading, and even just by holding two of its three currencies. Steemit has the potential to handle many times the traffic of Reddit. Steemit is resistant to nation state and corporate censorship because it's built on distributed ledger technology, also known as DLT or a blockchain. Definitely different from a BLT, okay? Like Bitcoin, it will be very hard to shut down or disrupt for any significant amount of time. Steemit is meritocratic. It's not democratic, it's meritocratic. The more you invest, either by investing your earnings or bringing in outside investment, 
the more powerful your upvote is and the more you can earn from upvoting and creating content. No investment is required, however, in order to use or even succeed with Steemit. The more quality content you post, either as blog posts or comments on blog posts, the more followers you will gain, the higher your reputation score will go, and the more rewards you will earn. You could make hundreds of dollars from your introduction post alone, and I can help you do it. Steam is also a solution to the micropayments problem because there are no transaction fees on the Steam network. If you start today, this is recorded in August of 2016, you get about $5 worth of Steam cryptocurrency free when you open your account, okay? This is different from other cryptocurrencies where you have to bring in outside money to get started to buy some of the cryptocurrency, okay? So, but don't wait because this could change. All right, now what is Steemit? Steemit markets itself as a blockchain based social network and it's built on top of Steam, a complete decentralized crypto economy. Steemit is built on the Steam blockchain. So this is similar to the Bitcoin blockchain, but it's separate from it. Another name for blockchains is distributed ledger technology. As I mentioned before, that's DLT, not BLT. This means that it's a distributed database. Lots of people hold copies of it that talk to each other in order to stay up to date. Records are added to the blockchain in sequential order. These records or blocks, once added to the database or chain, cannot be changed. They're immutable, read only. Steam is peer-to-peer. -peer. There is no central control. The developers, of course, maintain huge influence over Steam's course. Steam is like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies, but it's actually a lot more. Whereas Bitcoin miners earn block rewards by solving difficult math problems, this is called objective proof of work. Steam rewards users for subjective proof of work. That is the creation and curation of voting and flagging of content. Okay, this is very unique and it opens up a lot of possibilities for you to earn cryptocurrency, most notably through content creation and a little bit through curation as well. This is the website for uh, Steam, steam.io. It's got some good information here about the basic features of the network. It's got a an explainer video. If you are up for a slightly technical read, you can download here the 44 page Steam white paper. The first half of it is very accessible. But let's take a look now at uh, the core of the Steam system, which is the three Steam currencies. Okay, so here we are on steamit.com and we're looking at my Steam wallet. I'll explain these things later. But right now, what you need to know is uh, how Steam's three currencies, cryptocurrencies, work. The first one is Steam. The second one is Steam Power. And the third is Steam Dollars. Steam is the fundamental currency of the system. It's volatile subject to inflationary losses its supply increases by a hundred percent per year but also easily exchangeable for bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies steam is an ownership token but it's only votable when vested as the second currency steam power in a process that's called powering up and i'll get into the conversion process later steam power is steam that has been invested into the network as equity in a process called powering up. It can be converted back to steam in a process called powering down in 104 equal installments dispersed once per week. This rate limiting of steam power withdrawals incentivizes you to develop a long-term perspective for your participation in the steam network. It also serves as protection against hackers. One steam vested as steam power is essentially one vote. Those who contribute the most get to decide which content is to be valued more highly. The upvotes 
and flags, which I'll explain later in the content curation section. The votes, upvotes and flags of users with a lot of Steam power are worth more than those of users with relatively little Steam power. So as I said, this is not a democratic system, it's a meritocratic system. In fact, those with zero Steam power cannot vote at all. This creates an incentive to use your upvote in a way that maximizes the long-term value of your Steam. 90% of new Steam, which is created via inflation, is distributed on a constant basis pro rata to holders of Steam power. So this is a powerful incentive to convert your Steam dollar earnings to Steam and then to power them up to Steam power, if you believe in the long-term viability of the Steam network. Thus, users with a long-term vision are rewarded more than those with a short-term perspective. The other roughly 10% of Steam that is created via inflation is distributed as rewards, content creation, curation, and other rewards, and thus changes the ownership distribution of the network, albeit slowly. Steam power holdings are not subject to inflation for the most part, because Steam Power is constantly earning what you can call interest in the form of that 90% of newly created Steam. The third form of Steam cryptocurrency is Steam Dollars. These are conceived of as short-term debt instruments that are pegged one-to-one -one with the US dollar. So one Steam Dollar is worth approximately one US dollar. This value fluctuates, okay? So by holding Steam dollars, you are, according to the white paper, effectively lending the community the value of a dollar. This enhances growth. So uh, Steam dollars pay 10% annual interest. This could change. And you can check the current market price of Steam dollars at steamdollar.com. At the time of recording, it's right around 95 or 97 cents. It's fluctuated between 60 cents and about $1.30. For every Steam dollar created, $19 worth of Steam is created as Steam Power. So the maximum debt to ownership ratio of the Steam network is about 5%, very low. This could change if the value of Steam falls in the marketplace, but it should not be a major concern. How does Steam work? Now, Steam is a complex system with a lot of moving parts. I'll give you an overview of the most important ones for new users and cover more advanced topics in a later video. Now, your first window into the Steam system is going to be steamit.com. Now, this website is reminiscent of medium.com, but is named after Reddit. Steamit is just one interface for transacting with the Steam blockchain. There are others and might even be better ones in the future. There'll be more applications built on the Steam blockchain in the future too, including a Twitter-like app that's currently in alpha. So stay agile, stay in touch. I wanna keep you informed. Get on my mailing list at morelibertynow.com slash steam. All right, let's get started and create your account. Step one, visit steamit.com. That's steam with two E's. At top right, you wanna click sign up to register your account. At this time, you'll either need to have a Facebook account or a Reddit account that has positive karma. If you have neither, you can sign up to get notified when SMS verifications uh, will be enabled. So you'll need to auth authenticate with Facebook or Reddit, depending on which you choose as your first step. Then it will redirect you to the signup screen. On the signup screen, pick an account name, your username. Make sure you'll be happy with it indefinitely because you can't change it. Create a strong 16 character or longer password or accept the one suggested by the system. Whatever you do though, save that password in a permanent and safe place. Store it in an encrypted file on your computer, then back it up. Write it down on paper and stick it in a safe. Laser engrave it onto some carbon nanotubes. I can't stress this enough. That password grants access to your Steam cryptocurrency wallet and in the future, the entire ecosystem of Steam apps. There is no password recovery system. 
However, there is now an account recovery process. At the bottom of the page, click Create Account, and you will be redirected to your blog page. You're good to go. Okay, moving on to the next part of how Steam works. Content curation. Content curation refers to your ability to upvote and flag, due to abuse, content on the Steam network. Content curation doesn't pay a lot, but it's a good way to get started while you're learning about Steam and the members of the Steam community. You're now signed into steamit.com and therefore the Steam network. This is your profile page where you were redirected after you signed up. Let's click top left to go back to the home page. At top left, you'll see the word trending and a down arrow. Click that and you'll see there are seven more different views you can select from to filter con content. Hot are posts that are popular right now. These are a good opportunity to comment and vote. Trending 30 day are the most popular posts of the last 30 days. Payout time are posts whose rewards are about to be paid. Your votes and comments would pay little here, but the payout will come fast. New are brand new posts created moments ago. Separate the wheat from the chaff, vote up and comment on the wheat, and you can maximize your rewards. Active are posts that are recently edited or commented on. This is a good place to gain visibility and make new connections with your content. Responses are posts with the highest comment count over the last 30 days. And popular are posts with the highest number of upvotes over the last 30 days. You can also search for content by clicking the magnifying glass at the top of steamit.com. At present, this is just a Google search. Let's take a look at how voting works. If you think a blog post is useful, upvote it, either in the listings here or better by clicking through, reading the post, making sure it's high quality, and then clicking the upvote arrow next to the dollar amount of the payout. If you think it's abusive, go up here to the top right and click the flag. Your votes are public information. They're permanently recorded on the Steam blockchain. But don't worry, when you upvote someone, you're not spending your own money. When curating, upvoting and flagging, you're actually getting paid by the Steam system with newly minted cryptocurrency to decide who should be paid. Curation rewards are paid solely in Steam power. To get the maximum bang for your vote, vote on exactly 20 posts per 24 hours because each vote leverages up to 5% of your Steam power. Anything more than that and the power of your votes and your earnings decline exponentially. Note that your votes power declines after each vote, so don't cast a lot of votes all at once. Spread them out. You can check your current voting power at steamd.com slash the at sign your username. In the left hand column, look for voting power. The closer the number is to 100%, the greater the power remaining in your next vote. Upvotes on content that has already reached its first payout, which is approximately 24 hours after publication, sometimes longer, still pay the author but pay you zero curation rewards. I cannot overestimate the importance of good productive behavior on the Steam network. It's still small. Powerful, high Steam power users known as whales and dolphins, which I'll explain later, are paying attention. You will not gain their support if you engage in non-constructive behaviors. Be discriminating. Only upvote quality content that you yourself have evaluated. Consider the interests and culture of the platform. All right, let's take a look at content creation, which is really the meat of the Steemit system as far as earning rewards. Content creation includes both top level blog posts and comments on those posts. Create posts that people like and they may upvote you. Get enough upvotes from people who are holding Steam power 
and you will earn cryptocurrency. Engage in abuse, a fuzzy concept, the definition of which is still evolving, and your post will be hidden. Your reputation, I'll explain that in a minute, will also be affected. To create a blog post, just click Submit Story at top right on every page on steemit.com. Top level posts have a title, body, and up to five tags. It's a very simple format. The title can be no longer than 255 characters long. You can use markdown formatting, which is very easy to learn, on the body. And there is now a WYSIWYG editor that you can enable. Just click the word editor there. Tags are an important part of every post because they enable new readers to find you. The most popular tags are also on the right side of the homepage at steemit.com. On your post, you can use up to five tags and for each tag at most two hyphens. Definitely leave the little checkbox marked upvote post in its default checked position. It won't give you much of a boost in the beginning, but you need to get the upvote started somehow. Keep in mind, plagiarism is not tolerated in the Steam community. In fact, there is a bot that actively checks for it. Let's take a look at the payout number. Now, don't get too attached to this number, which is in US dollars at the bottom of your posts next to the upvote button. Click on the little arrow and you'll see it says potential payout okay it says potential payout and when it's expected to be paid out okay both of these numbers can change for a number of reasons the amount usually declines slightly before payout as rewards are calculated and set a fixed amount of currency is awarded in the whole network in each 24 hour period. And as new content receives upvotes, your share of that fixed pot can decline before payout time arrives. The payout amount also fluctuates due to changes in the market value of Steam. The payout time often extends a few hours if your post is receiving new upvotes. This happens in order to give you more time to collect those votes and also to counter any potential abuse from last minute votes. Don't worry about it. You're here for the long term, not just for a few dollars in a few hours, even though that does sound pretty good. All right, let's talk about multimedia for your post. You can't upload images directly to the blockchain, just text. So to embed images in your content, which is a good idea, open an account at steamimage.com. That's steamimg.com, okay? Once you've registered and logged in, you'll need to upload your photo. To upload, click the upload link at the top right. This menu will drop down and then just grab your image on your desktop and drag it in. You can select a category if you like and you can keep your upload private. Click here, the image will upload. Now, the image is uploaded. We need to scroll down, find embed codes, grab under full image markdown right here, where it says full image markdown. This, this will pop up when you mouse over it. Click there. Now you've copied the embed code. Let's go back to steamit.com Click on submit story and paste the code into the body. It will show you a preview of what your image is gonna look like. It'll actually look bigger when it's posted. So don't worry about the size. To embed a YouTube video, just grab the URL and paste it into your post. The video will automatically embed and you can play it. Steamic.com will grab the first image in the body and use it as your thumbnail on the content listings on the front page of steamit.com and elsewhere. So make sure your blog post includes the at least the image that you want to use as your thumbnail. There's a 20 minute buffer between blog posts. So try to spread out your posts throughout the day. Now, before posting, don't rush to post. There's more information coming on what kind of content you should post. Limit your blog posts to just four per 24 hour period in order to maximize your rewards. Post more than four in any 24 hour period and your reward will be taxed. Your fifth post will earn less than 100% of its content rewards. Your sixth even less etc. Check your limit status at steamdollar.com. For example, in this case, I've already published a couple things in the last 24 hours. So can I post again? Yes.
Let's take a look at comments now. Comments or posts only have a body and you can also use Markdown to format them. Post as many as you like, but make sure they are useful and substantial. Posts that add nothing to the conversation, such as good job, can, like wanton curation, impact your reputation and chances for success. Note that a 20 second buffer between comments is enforced. So don't post them too quickly. Comments are a great way to build connection with other users. Find a dozen users you wanna connect with and leave useful comments on their posts. Make a habit of responding to as many of the comments on your blog posts as you think merit discussion. This keeps your blog post in the active list for longer and thus gives you a chance at greater content creation rewards. Just make sure that each comment is substantial. Editing of your posts, both comments and blog posts, closes after the first payout, which is usually 24 hours after publishing. Keep in mind that your comments, like your blog posts, are on the Steam blockchain, so every revision you make is stored and will be there forever. They cannot be deleted. You can see the feed of your comments at a glance on your profile page by clicking on the comments tab. See replies to your comments and blog posts by clicking on the replies tab. Let's take a look at content and curation rewards. Blog post rewards are paid out twice. Once a stake waited 24 hours after your post is published and again, 30 days later. After that, no more rewards are paid on the content under the current system. Post rewards are paid out half in Steam dollars and half in Steam power. Stake waited 24 hours means that the expected 24 hour payment window can be extended if high Steam Power users, known as whales, upvote you, thus giving other users time to negate the whales' votes in case they constitute abuse. Payment time can even be extended by upvotes on comments to your blog post. Curation rewards are paid at the same time as blog post rewards. You can maximize your create curation rewards by voting on posts you think others will also vote for before they actually vote for them. Voting early, not voting on content that is already at the top of the charts, and by increasing your Steam power. Note that within the first 30 minutes that a blog post is published, your curation rewards are shared with the author. Upvote immediately after publication and 99.94% of your curation reward goes to the blog post author, not you. This percentage declines with time. At 15 minutes after publication, you get 50%. At 30 minutes, you get 100%. Curation rewards are assigned using a reverse auction though. So the earlier you vote, the higher the reward you'll get. You'll need a strategy in order to regularly profit from curation. This system is in place to prevent curation bots from gaining an unfair advantage. Now, it is possible on Steam to get patrons informally. There's an incentive in the system for whales, those are users with lots of Steam power, to identify the best content as early as possible after publication. This could lead to whales effectively becoming patrons to content creators who regularly create valued content. So make an effort to produce quality content that's well-written, spell-checked, well-formatted, well-titled, highly conceptualized, and with multimedia embeds that pleases whales, and you may find yourself regularly upvoted by those users whose upvotes are worth the most to you. Now, if you don't have significant Steam Power Holdings, that makes you a minnow, then you won't earn any significant return for your curation activities. But you can play the role of trendsetter by discovering the best content first. Whales may follow your lead, and you can earn content rewards by writing up your experiences as blog posts. Some things to keep in mind for the future. If Steam reaches the size of Bitcoin, the market for content creation and curation would be $1.7 million per day. That's according to the Steam white paper. The most popular content tends to run away with the greatest rewards. This is by design, like a casino or lottery, in the sense of there are magnificent rewards for a few, 
but not in the sense of being random. And this is in order to incentivize people to put their maximum amount of work into the community. Who benefits the most? The consumers. The amount of content and curation rewards does not change over time in absolute terms. So the quality of content will need to improve over time in order to continue earning similar rewards. This is a powerful incentive to meet the needs of curators. All right, let's take a look at how following works. You can build your own community on Steam by following other users and being followed in return, just like on Twitter. When you find a user that you wish to follow, go to their profile page, which takes the form of steamit.com slash at username, and click on the follow button at top right. Or click their username at the bottom of any blog post or comment, and the same follow button pops up. See the post feed of those you're following in the user menu at the top right of every steamit.com page. Click the person icon and a menu pops up. Select feed and click on it. To manage your followers, go to your profile page, click below your name where it says the number of followers or followed that you have. On the followed page, you can see who you're following. On the followers page, you can see who is following you. Go through the list and follow people back. Mute users you don't want to hear from. Now another important metric is reputation. Reputation is the number in parentheses next to your username at the top of your profile. You can increase your reputation by getting upvotes on your content from other users who have positive reputation numbers. The highest reputation on Steemit right now belongs to user Stella Bell and is 72. You might start with a reputation in the 20s. Get flagged, especially by a user with high steam power, a whale, and your reputation can decrease, even to a negative number. Let your reputation fall too low and your posts will be automatically hidden from other users. Reputation is not directly linked to your Steam cryptocurrency holdings. It's a separate metric from the one that determines the power of your upvotes. Keep building your collection of quality content on the Steam network and your reputation should rise. Okay, let's take a talk about the different categories of users, primarily whales, dolphins, and minnows. Okay, so since Steam is a meritocratic system, not a democratic one, some users have more voting power than others when curating content. This power comes from the user's Steam power holding. Users with huge amounts of Steam power are called whales. A single vote on your content by a whale can add hundreds of dollars to your payout. Whales can calibrate the power of their votes now, so not all whale votes confer huge rewards anymore. Users with a medium amount of steam power are called dolphins. One of their votes can add a few cents or a dollar to your payout. Users with a small amount of steam power are called minnows. These users' votes may add less than a cent to your payout. You will start out as a minnow unless you invest significant amounts of Bitcoin into steam power, which is not a recommendation. Don't risk anything more then you can afford to lose. Now don't worry about these categories. Being a minnow doesn't mean that you're doomed to fail. It just means you need to put something of value into the system, be that content curation, content creation, investment, or something else. Over time, the successful content creators will rise to the top and become the whales. Whereas any whales who don't succeed at content creation will likely see their relative share of steam power decline. You can check the current value of your vote at steamdollar.com. Okay, now we get to the meat of the matter. What kind of content should I post? Okay, the first thing you wanna do is make an introduction blog post and tag it with introduce yourself. Take a moment to study 
other introduction posts by visiting the introduce yourself tag listing on steemit.com. Try to include all of these things in your post. Detailed but non-sensitive information about your life, your struggles, your plans, and your goals. Information about what you do professionally what projects you're working on, what interests you, what you like about Steam, how you plan to collaborate to build the ecosystem, questions you have about Steam, and photos and videos that add to or deepen the text. You can feel free to send me the second draft of your introduction post, and I will read it over and give you some ideas about how to take it to the next level. Well done introduction posts can earn hundreds or thousands of dollars. They can gain you an initial following that will come back again and again for your next posts. So take your time, do it well. Don't skip this step and don't phone it in. Think about what makes you unique. Open up. This is a community of people. Yeah, sure, it's technology, but the tech just makes the community possible. How will you add value to the community? Put all of that and more into your post, okay? But don't expect your second or third posts to earn as much as your introduction post. Take your earnings from the introduction post and consider investing them in Steam Power tools or training that will enable you to produce more and better content for the network. Okay, so you're all set up, you're getting excited, you're following people, you're commenting. Now, how do you build a following? So Steam is still young. This is a great time to build your following on the network. Here are some ideas for how to do this. Post quality, well-conceptualized, substantial multimedia posts with well-crafted titles and copy on a regular basis, maybe even at the same time every day. Comment on other people's blog posts. Make sure your comments are not just a fluffy, great job, but instead add value. Ask a question or say something original. Join a Steemit group on Facebook or another legacy social media network and promote your posts there. Join steemit.chat, join the rooms that interest you, and contribute regularly. Don't just drop new posts in there though, have conversations. Help others. Start a project to improve Steam and involve other Steamians in it. Figure out how to solve problems that fellow Steamians are reporting. Develop software, tools, or some other valuable resource for the Steam community. Hey, get creative. Look at what top creators have done on Facebook, Twitter, blogs, YouTube, and other legacy social media networks. Adapt, experiment, learn, share your results in a blog post for extra rewards. All right, you're off to a good start. You've got some content, you've earned some cryptocurrency. Now, how to use your wallet. So you can access your Steam wallet at steamit.com, click the person icon at the top and select wallet from the user menu. Or if you're already here on your profile page, click wallet there. Here you'll see your Steam, Steam Power and Steam Dollar balances. The system also gives you the estimated value of your account in US dollars. Each balance has a small down arrow next to it. You can click it to do something with your money. Keep in mind that every wallet on this system is public information. You can view anyone's wallet, but you can only interact with your own. All right, let's take a look at your Steam. With your Steam, you can transfer, power up, deposit, or buy or sell. Use transfer to send Steam to another user. Enter the other user's account name here. Enter the amount here. And here you can enter a memo which is permanently recorded on the blockchain to remind yourself later what the transaction was for. Uh, transfers are immediate and fee free. A lot of the previous transactions are recorded right here underneath the balances. Use power up to vest your steam as steam power, which is like buying preferred stock in the steam network. This takes effect immediately. As noted above, withdrawing your steam power is a slow process. Steam power is a long term investment. Use deposit to convert your Bitcoin into steam using block trade. Use buy or sell to trade Steam on Steam's internal marketplace. Now the best use of Steam, and this is my personal opinion, is to power up and therefore maximize your influence and long-term gains.
Now, under your Steam Power, you'll find two options, Power Down and Deposit. Use Power Down to begin the withdrawal of your Steam Power balance in 104 equal weekly payments of Steam. You can stop this process at any time. If you power down, you will receive the first disbursement in one week. Use Deposit, the same as with Steam, to convert Bitcoin directly into Steam Power. Now, the best use of Steam Power, and this is my personal opinion again, is to hold it indefinitely in order to maximize your influence and long-term gains from the Steam Network. If you need some cash, you can always power down for one or a few weeks and then stop the process before it continues. With Steam Dollars, there are three options. Transfer, buy or sell, and convert to Steam. Use Transfer to send Steam Dollars to another user, just like with the Steam Transfer menu. Use Buy or Sell to trade Steam Dollars on Steam's internal marketplace. Use Convert to Steam to trade your Steam Dollars in for Steam. This is a good method for converting your content rewards to Steam Power. The conversion takes one week to happen, in order to prevent certain kinds of attacks. You can also cash your Steam dollars out to Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies easily at blocktrades.us. Steam dollars pay 10% APR interest, so there is some benefit to holding them, and you're unlikely to lose much because the Steam system works to keep the value of Steam dollars close to one US dollar. Check the current value of your Steam dollars at steamdollar.com. Okay, so how do you cash some of your earnings out of Steam? One good place to do it is blocktrades.us, where you can easily trade Steam and Steam dollars for Bitcoin, Ether, and other crypto assets. Once you've cashed out to Bitcoin, you can use an exchange such as Coinbase or an independent trader near you on localbitcoins.com to convert your Bitcoin into fiat currency. This is a process that can take just a few minutes and you can receive it as a deposit to your bank account. That is if you're unable to spend Bitcoin directly to get the products and services you need. Okay, so I've given you an overview of the system, how it works, how you can earn money, how you can cash out, how you can improve your investment. Now, who benefits from Steam? If you're willing to be social, to share of yourself, then you can succeed in the Steam social economy. Steam is a revolutionary breakthrough for content creators who want to get paid. Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit do not pay you. They make all the money from your hard work. At YouTube, some creators can earn a percentage of Google's take on the AdWords ads that Google presents to your viewers. But you have to be earning millions of views on a regular basis if you wanna make good money. Steam is different. It's a complete economy that pays you to create value for consumers in the form of content. Content that you might already be creating anyway, out of passion out of your own interest as a hobby. If you're not interested in creating content, you can still make small amounts of money paid in Steam Power curating with a minimal daily time investment since your curation rewards decline after 20 upvotes per 24 hours anyway. Keep in mind, Steam is not just another channel for dumping generic content you already create. Although you still can get paid for this if curators decide to support you. The best paying content right now is media that relates to yourself personally and to Steam. Now this is already changing with some curators seeking out content about anything other than Steam and Steam it. So who's Steam it for? It's for anyone who wants to earn money for being social in their spare time by creating and curating content. Independent workers, freelancers, stay-at-home moms, students, kids, the elderly, anyone with something to say who's willing to do it in a constructive way. All right, enough of this talk. You've got enough information. What now? What's your next step? Your next step is to go to steamit.com and sign up. Okay, you've signed up. Now what? Follow me at George Donnelly to get updates on this document, serial science fiction, daily doses of positivity in my Positos series, 
political commentary and organizing for libertarians and more. Also, follow the Steam Smart podcast at Steam Smart to get the latest insights for Steam success and to stay abreast of new developments and influencers in the Steam community. Ready your introduction post. Produce two drafts, then send it to me. My email address is me at georgedonley.com. I'll help you take it to the next level because I want to see content creators succeed on Steam. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Steam is a peer-to-peer, meritocratic social economy built on a blockchain that pays you cryptocurrency to create and curate content, mostly long-form blog posts for now. You can exchange that cryptocurrency for fiat money and spend it on groceries, rent, and travel, or earn even more by investing it into the Steam network. Now, many people have already earned hundreds, some thousands of dollars from their introduction posts alone. And so can you. You can build a following on Steemit for your quality content, a following that pays you over and over again, as long as you keep producing quality content that meets their needs. Quality is not just appreciated on Steemit, It's required. Steam is poised for growth in the near future, and its architecture can grow to handle many times the traffic of Reddit. Right now, Steamit is at the perfect stage for technology enthusiasts and visionary leaders to start building their communities for the future. Steamit is good for you, but it's also good for your followers who can fund your highest quality and most speculative work without spending any of their own money. And they can earn money too. Steam will only grow from here. That's my personal opinion. By getting started today, you are setting yourself up for long-term success in the new world of social crypto economies. Welcome. You can find more information, including valuable resources, useful third-party Steam tools, and some suggestions for good people to follow on the Steam network to learn more at morelibertynow.com slash steam.